More than 30,000 people rallied in Helsinki on Friday in the biggest Finnish demonstration since 1991. The protest, which was held simultaneously with strikes by 300,000 workers on railroads, harbors and paper mills across the country, was called over government plans to cut workers' benefits. This week, Prime Minister Juha Sipila gave a rare speech to the nation, urging citizens to find a, quote, common spirit of reform to save the welfare state and create more jobs, rather than letting strikes impede an economy already hit by vast staff cuts at former national growth engine Nokia. The demonstrators, most of them union activists, said it was unfair to make cuts in sectors where salaries were already low and have been angered by the government's lack of dialogue. The government is giving a list and they're saying that agree or don't agree, and we didn't agree. But that's not called negotiation. The benefit cuts envisioned by the government are part of long-term plans that seek to implement cuts and reforms aimed at saving 10 billion euros by 2030 to balance Finland's finances. The Confederation of Finnish Industries estimated that Friday's one-day strike wiped out 100 million euros from the economy.